so first things first, uh, before I go any further into this video, I want to state something for those who keep asking, like, if they want to use a healer like Nemesis and anything like that. If you do not have S1 Nemesis, then she is not a healer. She is like, she's not. She will not do what you need for her. When you look at her abilities, her skill does damage, right? Uh, has a, a CC with knocking down targets. There's a lot of damage. 25 uh, second cooldown, pretty short. And her discharge skill, right, does a cross shape ray, reduces target's movement speed, and then does a burst. Uh, all of this happens when you, um, like, literally, uh, like, upgrade with your Star Kings, but, like, you don't heal at all without, without the S1. So, Nemesis is not a free-to-play friendly character. Uh, she has to have at least her first advancement, which for a lot of free-to-play players, it's not likely. So if you're playing in PvP, they fully upgrade her for you to 6-star, which is like literally the only way that you're able to heal if you have the one copy. So again, if you are not trying to uh, like fully invest in her and get the S1, then do not even stress... About getting her she is not a healer now if you are those who got lucky or you got nemesis then yes you will have the heal on the first advancement where it gives you um after using your uh, discharge skill your regular skill you create an electrode that immediately grants the user five stacks of healing chains in addition unleash a healing chain that heals nearby allies by 135 percent of wonders attack this is how people who use nemesis and our healers can act, like just get so much healing because you're just literally just chaining heals um, for free, right? So I just wanted to go over that, though. Like, she is not free-to-play friendly at all. She is not a healer before S1. Uh, very similar to, like, Zero when I went over him. Which is why, I guess it's good I'm going doing these characters back-to-back. -back. Zero and Nemesis are characters who just have nothing for you before S1. At least Zero, though, has a shield. Nemesis has nothing like nothing all she does is just lower movement speeds you have to invest into her which is crazy right she does have the bolt resonance which somebody would be like oh that's her usefulness but like you know like the resonance is cool but it's not worth getting a whole character for if you're only using that for it right but it does increase the volt attack by 15 percent and volt resistance by uh 25 percent what does that mean so basically if you're using crow or if you're using um samir they will be great pairings if you're a DPS character and you just have one copy, you just couldn't resist getting her, right? Um, if you are a healer, you could use um, Nemesis and Pepper together because that'll increase their heals and their Volt Resistance. Um, it definitely works. Pepper, getting this increase does help her also. Um, and then, of course, she's a Volt user, so she has a CC even the Paralyzed, can uh, negate any buffs they receive. So if you're doing PvP, Volt can like you know nullify the buffs that they receive if they get any attack buffs defense buffs or anything like that which is really good so let's go ahead and go over her advancements now that i got over all of that so on the second one you increase your weapons attack growth which helps her heals helps her damage which we already know she does a lot of damage on the third one this is where she starts to get even more damage her electrode every seconds will pulse out damage equal to the maximum of 205 percent of attack in a target area uh and then on the fourth one, you get increased the weapon's attack row. So it's not even like the other heals where it's increasing by health. This is just straight up increasing by attack. This is why for a support, she is just straight up damage, right? Unless you just like really start to start her up for the S1. But she is literally just straight up damage. Um, and then on the S5, after using Pulse Lock, increase the Wanderer's attack by 5 plus number of electrodes times 5% for 25 seconds. So that's going to be five plus number of electrodes. If you're S1, you're going to get one, right? And then so uh, that's the one times five. So that's 10%. If you have the two electrodes and that's two times five, that's 10. That's 15. It looks like it's 15%. If I did my math right. 10, yeah. Yeah, so 10 or 15%. On a six, up two, two electrodes can be activated at the same time. So many more electrodes will replace the ones furthest from the user. Basically, what that's saying is that, like, if I put an electrode way over where I shot the enemy at, 
uh, and then I put another one down by me, the next time I use my discharge skill or my skill, it'll put it closer to me. That way you don't have your electros like completely spread out. If you've been using PV, if you've been playing PVP with Nemesis, you've noticed people have been like trying to run outside of your electrodes. So if you are like at an S6, which everybody is, then you can keep putting down your electrodes where you need them to go uh, versus before that, uh, you can't really replace, like you really can't move them, right? And then placing another one down does heal it all the way back up to full. So, you know, but like all in all, just like going over her kids Arkham advancements, she is really strong. She has a lot of damage and I will show you guys, but it's just, it's why everyone's so frustrated because like she can heal for free by just doing um, a dodge skill, right? And it puts this ring around you and it just heals. Like it just straight up heals you. And it's, um, it's just a little strong, honestly, because it's just free heals. You don't have to do anything for it. And then you get another burst heal when you, um, when you use your uh, abilities, which is pretty crazy. So, and then she has to charge, but, and her basic skills are really nice. They also have a tracking on them. I don't know if you guys realize, but like, like if I'm in the air shooting a target, like, uh, well, that I'm actually locked on, the moves will track that shoot out. So that is really interesting because enemies that like fly up into the air, um, people in PVP who fly up into the air, they do the same thing. All right, so you have the ceiling ring, and then you put down your electrode after you use your skill. So, I don't know if you can see, but yeah, here you go. There's an electrode that's there, and I'm healing it passively with my dodges. And then, all I have to do is just wait, because I'm not trying to use my other skills. But, I'm able to just heal myself. And of course, I am a six star. So, a lot of these values, guys, are going to be, like, kind of crazy. I don't look at those, but I can put down another if I'm a six star, and then now I can have two electrodes down that are pulsing out, that are hitting the enemies. Uh, they're stacking up tons of bolt damage, which will end up being a stun, uh, which will end up reducing the buffs that they get. And so this is how she's able to do like also a lot of AOE damage. And again, let me see if I can let this enemy hit me. When I yeah. When I use my abilities, I get a big burst heal. Um, see, let's get a big burst heal also. So it's just, this is why she's just really crazy. Right now though, she has the pulse damage that just keeps pulsing out every six seconds. And, and they go on their own timer based off of the lifetime. So you see the one pulse is out and the other pulse is out. And all I have to do is just keep up the healing for them. And so me being a support, I can actually like heal these back up to full and they don't have a uh, time limit like they're just there as long as I can heal them and honestly I can keep them out like the whole time so it's a little it's a little ridiculous like I I understand uh, for some people but for PvE though she's really effective for healers because healers are able to do damage like without having to um, they're not having to really like switch to uh, like a DPS character in their roster. You can totally rock out with Nemesis and then put down like another healer, right? So you can swap either to your Zero, you can swap to your um, Coco Ritter. So you can have all of those heals and then still keep up with Nemesis. You can heal these, keep up your electrodes, even if you're just, you know, at S1. But you really want this healing ring because this is going to be free healing for you that you can just passively get while people are just around you. And if you see, it's this, this effect right here that um, helps with that healing chain. And so you just keep your dodges up, use all those, that way you can get the max chain, and then you're fine. But yeah, this is that's all we're doing. We're able to keep up, keep up the healing rings. Like, they're just been there. So, yeah. Uh, that's kind of like how her combat goes. You're just going to be firing your discharge skill, your skill whenever it comes off. They charge really fast, especially if you are a healer. And again, if you are maining heals, if you're more free to play, but you're able to get the S. If you're a free to play or a low spender, again, you need to have the uh, 
you need to have the healing ring from the S1. If you don't, it's just not it's just not gonna do well for you, honestly. She's not a healer. You you need you need it. You have to have it. I'm sorry. There's there's nothing you can do. Uh but if you're able to do the 120 summons and you get lucky on that, then you totally have that, and then you could run somebody like uh Coca Ritter, uh, or if you have a six star pepper, you could do that as well. So just let, making that known. All right, so well, at the time of recording this video, the site is down that I usually use to show you guys the matrices. So I'm going to actually just show you from mine. Uh, so the matrix that you want to get for Nemesis is going to be one, hers. So the first one uh, for the 2P set is going to be when a target is being healed, their volt attack is increased by 8% all the way up to 15% if you can get the copies and the stars uh, for 20 seconds. This effect does not stack, and the only highest level's effect is applied when obtained. Uh, repeatedly right so it's basically like if they have like their own then uh it's not going to stack with it so like if you have your startup then yours will be the present one over theirs right uh because a lot of people are going for the matrices as well so for the fourth piece set when it when healing yourself or your electrode the target of healing gains a charge of lightning the next attack within 30 seconds will cast lightning upon the target dealing volt damage equal to 240 percent that can go all the way up to 420 percent of volt attack and damage caused by electros is reduced by 50 percent cannot be triggered more than once in 10 seconds lightning charges do not stack only the highest levels effect is applied when obtained repeatedly basically it's like where you can't um spam this when you have 10 seconds where this can be triggered but it's basically just gigantic burst damage that you can get especially if you can star these up uh, so this is just really effective in getting your just damage up with Nemesis. And again, this is why she is a literal just DPS support uh, that can heal. She is not a true healer because like Coco is going to be um, a true. And when I go over her, like she is the best healer. Like Nemesis is just the best DPS support that can heal. So just letting you guys know that. This is why I say that Pepper... And Coco are really good because they actually heal. A lot of people have been telling me that Pepper is weak, which, like, it's not. Uh, it's just she doesn't heal, right, as much as some others, especially if we don't have her at six star. But, uh, anyways, we're going to go over the... Uh, and the other ones that are really good is, like, the uh, Echoes one, using a discharge skill to switch to the current weapon, grants weapon charge, which she wants weapon charge. That way you can refresh your electrodes, um, and then you can get the heal pulsed out. Um, and then also Peppers, which I don't have yet but i can show you guys where you will get it when you complete everything here you can get peppers and then increases the speed of obtaining weapon charge by 10 percent goes all the way up to 15 percent all right now it comes down to team formations what do you want to do for team formations all right so if you're a healer uh best you want to do is have an actual healer so you want to run um if you're running nemesis nemesis and coco or nemesis and pepper if you're a healer at least that if you're like me you're trying to be an omega healer then you're going to add on a third where you would most likely put on coco or use zero if you're trying to uh if you have him start up right um if you are a dps character who's wanting to use nemesis and you be fully invested into nemesis then that's where you're going to run a uh volt dps weapon right so we're just going to pretend like this is crow or this is samir right then you're going to use that and any other volt character that comes out in the future you'll put in this slot for the one right here that's where you're going to put in a um either a dps weapon right uh or you know you're going to do the balanced way and you're going to use like meryl or huma right but typically for people to do the uh to get the attack bonus they're going to run two dps that way they can get the extra 40 percent dps bonus so if you, but also if you are a tank who is wanting a passive heal who can do damage, then you'll put on a tank weapon and then you'll use uh, like another like tank weapon. And then you can have the fortitude where you get the extra shatter damage reduction and the aggro, and then you can boost your damage reduction, but you, then you also have like a healer. So that's pretty much how you can like do that. Where I was talking about, you can be two DPS and a heal to do this because like nemesis just does straight up damage but also though you really want to make sure that you're using nemesis if you're a dps with volt like units so that's why like 
Crow and Samir being your other two while using uh, Nemesis is like really strong right now. Um, a lot of people are doing uh, Nemesis with Samir and running like King or Meryl, uh, right? That way they can have the shatter damage as well because shatter damage matters. And if you don't have a tank that's fully invested to a shatter build, then like you really want to get through those shields. That's pretty much like if like you could plug Nemesis in on a lot of different teams because she just does so much damage. But again, pairing her with bold characters is going to be honestly her. All right, so in summary, if you are trying to be a healer, and you are free to play, then do not get her unless you can get S1. If you cannot guarantee S1, do not even bother getting her because she is not the support for you, right? Um, if you are a DPS, then yes, you can get her as long as you're wanting to run a Volt team. Other than that, then there is no reason to get her, right? There are going to be characters coming out in the future that can benefit you more especially if you're wanting to run like king if you're wanting to run like meryl like no you she's best used at s0 for volt teams for the volt resonance if you aren't taking her any further now if you of course are able to guarantee that if you spend a little bit of money or you're just really lucky then yes she is really strong out like you know just in everything right now she's in pretty much every pvp match she's in uh most people's like raids and stuff like that um of course like people who are actual healers will heal more than than most and then of course like people who have invested into her will have all of her electros that pierce uh that just use a bunch of aoe damage vol damage getting the ccs and everything like that but she is not free to play friendly you need to invest into her to make her uh really crazy and so that's pretty much what i'm gonna say in summary but if you guys enjoy this video please hit the like button and comment down what you guys think about nemesis um, if I pretty much covered everything or if you have any more questions, please let me know in the comment section I've been trying my best to answer all of you guys' comments. There's been a lot of comments on my um, Other video uh, that was talking about all the healing weapons. Just a brief overview um, And so I've been really wanting to do these deep dives in case you have a question about any of the other characters But you guys have been asking um, amazing questions. I've been getting a lot of interactions and I love commenting back with you guys and um, as, long, as, as small as I am uh, I can comment back to as many as I can, but of course, if I get a bunch of comments, if I slow down on my, like, replying, I apologize. It's just, I'm getting so many comments and I'm not really used to it. But also, if you guys want to get more of this healing content, please subscribe. And again, I will talk about other characters um, as we get there, but I just really want to make sure I get all of the healing content done because that is what I main in. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. You lucky gamers, have a good one. Lucky Lux out.